If you're planning on opening or renovating a salon or barbershop, partner with Minerva Beauty, the trusted beauty equipment provider for over 175,000 beauty industry businesses worldwide. Scrolling their website, you'll be blown away at the wide range of designs, styles, colors, variety, and price points offered, truly suiting the equipment needs for every individual. Don't believe me? See for yourself by visiting Minerva's massive showroom and warehouse in Monroe, Georgia to experience everything their equipment provides firsthand. Minerva's warehouse carries the largest in-stock salon equipment inventory in the world so most of the items are available for same day pickup or shipping huge offer for you guys this week get 15 percent off site-wide when you shop at minervabeauty.com during their spring savings event don't wait the deals end march 20th splitting hairs free salon education podcast starts now featuring matt beck Christina Cavalcanti, Brian Hare, and Carly Wareheim. T -t Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode six, Splitting Hairs, six weeks in. Not too bad. No, still yeah. going strong. Yeah, still going strong. That flew by. Uh, What'd you say? That flew, like, I, I, <laughs> geez, six, wow. Welcome to being older, Carly. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, speaking, like speaking, speaking of being older. Speaking of being older. Speaking of being older. Segue into that. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> yes, I'm not going to use my I'm so, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. Mine was broken. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm so glad oh. I can mix that later. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh, now we throw the thing, right? <laughs> At me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, I got to say, it's scary when you guys all aim those at my face. Happy birthday, sweetie. Here, let me fix your hair. This is, you want me to all right. <laughs> is it good? Oh, no. I, I have a no, it is not. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit that out. No, now it's perfect. Yeah. Oh, uh, thanks. Oh, that's. Yeah. yeah, that's very nice. <laughs> she needs to do that more often. <laughs> no, not taking that out of my hair. It was very nice of the the confetti, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. No, I said. <laughs> no, I meant she should do your hair more often. It looks good. Oh, thanks. No, wow. I thought you meant the confetti more often. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm always down for that. Now. So confused. Um, I want glitter confetti. All right, so this episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. Uh, yes, it is my birthday today. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Um, another year older. I was saying to Car, like, <laughs> weeks feel like days when you get older. Yeah. So um, I feel like uh, I'm happy that we're here doing this. And uh, we got Brian here. Hey, yeah, us. you do. Carly. Hey. Christina. What's up? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Sometimes it I'm okay? running the cameras. Yeah, and I have oh, to look okay. at something, and then I forget that what you're like. To, you know. Yeah, I know, and I'm waiting I'm for. I'm paying the, attention to a couple of different things. That's why. Sorry. A lot of different things. Um, make sure you subscribe because we got so much to say. Make sure you get interactive in the chat and in the comments. We actually had quite a few comments in the show last week. Sweet. Finally, so thank you guys for uh, typing and uh, letting us know your opinions. Um, that was great. We actually had a lot of views, more views than listens, uh, which is new. Um, so I feel like the show is growing. Um, so, yeah. So make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't done so already. And then also on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all of that. Um, make sure you subscribe to us on there. And then if you want to watch the episodes or keep up to date with anything that we're doing, go to freesaloneducation.com and you can uh, just click the podcast tab and you can see all the episodes on there as well. So it's very easy to access everything that we're doing. Um, today, we got a fun show. We're going to talk about, we're just going to have some real reactions, um, which are just some hair reels that are going around. And then uh, we're going to talk about some of the latest trends and then how you can take care of your hair without uh, damaging it, hopefully, uh, is the goal. So first thing is real reactions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some reels. And we'll just kind of have our opinions or see what you think. And you guys can let us know in the comments as well what you think of these. But these are just all kind of hair related things. So here's the first one. I thought this one was pretty funny. Let's see what you did. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> it's not funny until you see the kick. But the kick just makes me oh, laugh every was... time. It's like, bam. And then bam. I thought that was funny. Oh my God. It's going to slay on audio. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, we should uh, we should definitely explain what's going on. I think you should put all these videos on your Instagram so that people can go but watch them. <laughs> actually, go watch them after they listen to the I'll, podcast. I'll actually I'll link them in the description of the podcast. There but we go. This one, this guy, he takes a roll of tape and he puts the ponytail through the tape, and then he takes a fan, like a piece of a fan. Yeah, like the front grill piece of just a typical electric fan. Yes, and he puts her hair through that. And then he fans the hair over the fan. And this is how he's going to cut the hair. I had so much hope for this, thinking it was going to be cool. What was your hope? I don't oh, know. Oh, I thought it was going to... I like thought it was going to be like some kind yeah. of cool editorial look. But yeah, to realize that's... that this is a setup for a terrible haircut. <laughs> and it doesn't even show the after. It doesn't show the after now. When you pull hair into a ponytail, like a lot of videos are out there of ponytail haircuts. Like yeah. I even, I've done one. But you can't do i mean you can do one ponytail but if you pull that up to the center of the head that over direction is all over the place yeah so that's kind of the thing that i wanted to showcase in this video it is kind of funny but it's also just um it is a way you can cut the hair like this but is it going to have any purpose to it not really no because like i look at that and you know i'm not exactly a precision cutter but i'm like <laughs> you've got you're just hoping that all of the hair is perfectly pulled through that ponytail exactly where it needs to be. And then when it comes through the fan, you don't know where, the, like that hair that's hanging off the front could be hair from the back of her head. Like there is no, this is just to show, look at how funny this is to cut yeah, it. This is not going to be any kind of sound haircut. Yeah, it's definitely for views, obviously, but at the same time too, a lot of people are pulling things in ponytails. So I just want people to understand like you're saying, like the over direction into one ponytail and then spread out over that fan. It does make it easy for him to cut because it takes the density away um, when you fan it out that much. Yeah. But um, but it's just not going to it's it's layering it. It's because it's like holding it all up in the air. Basically. But you have no idea where that hair is going to live yeah. when all that crap comes out of her hair. And there's a big difference between having that ponytail and pulling it straight up in the air and cutting it off. Right. And then letting it fall over that fan area and then cutting it there at a low elevation. So now not only have you elevated it with the ponytail, but now you put it at a low elevation right. afterwards. And it's just, so it's kind of a crazy, uh, just, it just makes me think like when I learned to stop cutting my own hair was when I used to just like grab hair, twist it and cut it to get texture. Yeah. And then wasn't paying attention and twisted it too tight and cut it too close to the head and had a bald spot surrounded by long hair. Like, that's just all I think about when I see when ponytail see haircut. Anything like this, it's not that simple. Yeah. It's our job to make it look that simple. It is not that simple. Yeah. The ponytail haircut that I did on YouTube was um, like a small ponytail on the front that over directed everything forward. Then there was a small ponytail that went straight up in the head, but it was clearly sectioned where it should be. And then there was another ponytail in the very back of the head that was over directed up and put into a ponytail so it was a lot of different um over directions for layered haircuts it's not even you wouldn't do like a precision haircut like that but yeah. if you wanted to add some layers to a haircut there are some ways to do it but it, putting it into one ponytail and bringing everything up and then letting it drop to the ground is just going to cause see this is why we need to bring back hair shows so that people can do cool creative stuff like that on stage again yeah that's got to be heavy on her head, though. Like, I... <laughs> <laughs> right, know, but like... think about how cool that would look on stage. Yeah. Like, or to do a style like that on stage, mm -hmm. that'd be cool. We don't... For sure. We don't need... Well, yeah. Because when you see it online like that, it's it it's not a tutorial. <laughs> like... Right, yeah. <laughs> all right, here's the next one. This one we all kind of saw. Yeah. I don't know if they put it on every hairdresser's feed this week. Yeah. But... Yeah. This is an interesting contraption that we can't figure out where it came from. So if anybody knows uh, in the comments where you can actually get this thing. Um, but what are our thoughts about this? So and this, what are your thoughts on, on for the, the listeners? Yeah. It's it looks like basically it looks like they have a hot glue gun that is producing super teeny tiny fine little bleach stripes on the hair to create a baby lights effect very quickly. They have a kid's tool out that is, um, it puts beads or wraps a string around your hair mm -hmm. for decoration. And that's kind of what it reminds me of. Yeah. Okay. I love that. <laughs> I got to be honest. I would absolutely love to try this because 
<clears throat> like I, especially as someone who's been doing hand painting for so long, I find myself having so little patience for trying to do a lot of baby lights. But I know that there is, there's a market for that. There's a look for that. It, I love the way it looks. I just run out of patience after like four foils of baby lights. <laughs> but this I could see myself like, yeah, all right, let's crank through and just do a ton of these tiny little highlights. Don't you feel like though, like when I watch this, I feel like there's just uh, something about a brush pushing it onto the hair just slightly. Yeah. Not like, not a lot, but a little more pressure and a little more control with that pressure than using this gun that looks like it. I don't know how the gun's pulling the hair in and how it's spreading the the. Uh, I think it's on. just going like on top, like a yeah, caulking gun. Yeah, is that enough? Mm -hmm. Well, he's taking, or they, I don't know who's doing this, but Very the, they're super fine sections. Yeah. So I think it really is just utilizing that part of balayage where you don't smear it in for the fade and you just brush it on to create like that little dome that will help incubate inside. Like I really do think those highlights are going to look just like that yeah. when done. It won't have that that fade in with all the, the different dimensional lifts that you normally get from hand painting. It is interesting, like... Yeah, like, maybe for a client that wants, like, not too many levels. Right. Just like, a nice... Yeah. I've, I, to me, kiss. this comes sun off kiss. as someone yeah. who wants less of, like, that, that ombre effect that a lot of hand painting can give you and more just, like... Like a natural small, highlight. fine highlights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait, or I someone think... with, like, finer hair. Like, mm. I feel like that would be a good... Yeah. Mm -hmm. AI... O N hair. That logo on the cape is the same as the thing. Oh, okay. So we'll have to look it up. Oh, look at you, detective. We'll put you on the Kate Middleton case. You know me, I'm very <laughs> observant. So All right. All right. Cool. And then uh <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. Oh my god. Oh. No, I have not ever done that. That was a clip. That's a strand test. So <laughs> strands. <laughs> that like those were very close to the scalp. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't go that close. She went in and ripped it out with a clip. I wouldn't even rip oh. it no, out. No, I thought no. It looked like it was. Why it's same time. Was it ripped out with a clip, or did you just close the texturizers and just pull it out? No, I think oh. she closed the texturizers and pulled it out. But I feel like I wouldn't take it off the head. Yeah, I can refresh this. Wait for a strand test. Like, why? Because. Here, let me just take a giant <laughs> chunk of your hair. Yeah, like. And call it, you in a week to tell you if we should bleach it. Thought process, though. I don't know why she went so deep with it, but you could use texturizing shears to slide through it and actually grab, you know, enough strands to actually test something yeah. instead of cutting a chunk. Yeah. It's a little more invisible. I don't know if it's invisible the way that she did it there. Or he, I, I couldn't tell by the hands. Um, I'll have to watch it again. I didn't watch that part. I'm so observant. Um, <laughs> but the, uh, but yeah, it was so, that was like scalp yeah. and down. That so, was like the one thing that they look for when you take the state board exam is how close to the head you do huh. the texturizers. Oh. They didn't even have they me did use texturizers. Me. Yeah, no. Are you licensed? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember the nail test. That was oh, that was God. the biggest fear for me. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't I, know if these videos are really... I dropped my curling no, iron not. during my test. What'd you do? This one goes with the around. theme of the uh, robot. I don't know. <laughs> How does that look like a oh. Teenage Mutant <laughs> Ninja Turtle up there? <laughs> it is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's Leonardo. It is. Oh, oh. oh God. Oh. Yeah, I... <laughs> His face. So this is... They're coming for our jobs. <laughs> Literally, someone built a robot. Oh, yeah. I forget and to tell everybody what's happening. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Someone built a robot that looks like Leonardo from the Ninja Turtles, or it is him, and he's chopping this guy's hair uh, with a clipper and a comb. Yeah. He's, he hits it with a comb a couple times to move it up, which I think is hilarious. So this must just be popping up the top for him. Oh, putting the cape on too. Notice yeah. that Pop. Mm, little yeah. strangulation. Look, look how much elevation Ooh. he gets with that. Yeah, one more, yeah, and then he does. and then bam. Oh. <laughs> oh. And the guy's face is wincing. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's, he's miserable. not enjoying. That's this. what my client's right. faces look like. <laughs> it is. I, I can see. 
from my All right. chair. <laughs> we'll move on from the reels. That, that was... Uh, <laughs> It's fun, though. Um, and we're all getting fed the same ones anyways. Today's episode of Splitting Hairs is sponsored by Mevo on Tour, hosted by Mevo Salon and Spa Software. It's an in-person series of beauty and wellness business conferences spanning five major U.S. cities in 2024. Mevo on Tour welcomes spa and salon owners and managers to learn from some of the industry's best, network with like-minded professionals, and walk away with newfound ideas and inspiration for implementing it in their businesses. Up Upcoming conference locations include New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, and Dallas. Next stop on the conference series is New York City with an all-day event full of peer-to-peer -peer networking, interactive strategic sessions on maximizing profit, creating unforgettable guest moments, and overcoming industry challenges, and more. For more information on Mevo on tour or to register for an upcoming conference, please visit Mevo.com slash Mevo dash on dash tour. All right. Uh the Nirvana hair one. Let's talk about that. Okay. I do want to try to show everybody what the style looks like. Just describe it really well. Kurt Cobain <laughs> Nirvana? Yeah. I basically. mean, that's basically what it looks yeah. like. It's a lob mm -hmm. that people are wearing. Yeah, it's um, the, yeah. The Nirvana is the 2024's hottest haircut is what it's saying. Yeah. Ooh. Um, so it's fill So the red carpet has been filled with examples of the cut, which is defined by its length. It meets the shoulder or collarbone and blunt cut finish. The style is nothing but relaxed, super cool, and slightly disheveled. Think Kurt Cobain, but 30 years later, which is where the haircut gets its name. So That is a have, weird way to put that <laughs> <in>. someone <laughs> who's very dead. Yeah. So they have Jennifer Aniston's <laughs> new cut, Yeah. which is yeah. sort of like what you're saying, the lob. Yeah. Um, with some, I mean, I guess, longer layers in the front. And then they have a picture of um, Emma Stone with her. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Sydney Sweeney. Oh, I yeah. I think she just cut her hair, right? Didn't she? I like the Sydney Sweeney one. Did she yeah. cut it or was it a wig? Uh, I don't oh, know. I Maybe. don't know. Yeah, Bec I don't know either. Because it looked like she could have just cut it. Right. Uh, on the, what was that, the Oscars? Yeah. 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 I just love the, like, the names of these things. Like, they're just, in a couple years, it'll be called something else. And yeah. Oh, for sure, yeah. Nirvana. 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 <laughs> All right, here's the Vogue. I can pull What's the Nirvana? Vogue. Oh, it's the lob. All right, can you, can you hit the iPad? <laughs> mm -hmm. There she is. There's so this this one, I think, really actually looks like yeah. Kurt yeah. Cobain's yeah. haircut in a way. Yeah, I mean, it's just a dirty lob. He didn't lob. really have much of a haircut, but, you know. But, yeah, it's just that's all it is. And then there's Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That one. I love her. And then, you know, the other ones. Won't All work. right, so but cut yeah, a lob and make go. it dirty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and what kind of products would you guys, like... Probably that one that you like is probably where you'd go. Yeah, I mean, I love a good dry texture spray. Yeah. I'd probably finish those ends off with some kind of, like, super light cream mm -hmm. to make them a little bit piecier while having a texture spray, like, keep it apart. Yeah. Because, like, that's one thing that I'm noticing through these pictures is, <laughs> I guess that's the 90s grunge of it, is, like, there's no fuzziness to any of it. Like, everything has definition through the ends as though it was not washed. Yeah. Yeah. I like the haircut. I think it's complimentary to a lot of people. Too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's an easy transition. Yeah. Like you're like, oh, I want to change, but nothing too crazy. Yeah. Because in three months, your hair's going to be back to the way it was yeah. right before. Yeah. And you're not um, like, it's not a ton of like, I saw that there's like a butterfly lob mm -hmm. now, which is like that same haircut, but with a lot of layers, mm -hmm. I guess. Is that kind of like what Zendaya kind of has? Probably. Yeah. Or like the Jen Ann. Is that kind of what it you're could, talking about? Could be. Yeah. I forget, but um, I think your mom got it, kind of. Mm. It seems like your mom got it. <laughs> your mama. I think like, your mom got it. The way he said it. <laughs> your mom got it. Yes, she no, does no, got like it. No, like literally your mom. <laughs> yeah, she just got her hair done. She's like the best client every seven weeks. She's Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's loyal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, and her hair always looks good. Like it never yeah. doesn't. Look yeah, she good. never. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have uh, took more after her. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we got... You just got to stop coming here for we it. We don't have much time. I know. So. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Our smoke alarms were going off because of my blow dry. <laughs> uh, all right. Do we do one more? And we really don't have time. Um, it's your birthday. Whatever you want. All right. Let's do trivia real quick. That's how we'll, we'll do trivia. And then trivia. we'll come back and spin. And oh, then we'll spin. So if you could let someone know, someone in the chat ask what a spin do <laughs> so 
We got some newbies in there. Yeah. All which right. Which is great. So a spin is uh, we spin the wheel. The free wheel it has too. tons of different prizes on it. Uh, they're mostly for they're for professional hairdressers. So we have tools, uh, razors, scissors. Uh, Minerva Beauty's giving away a Theragun um, from their website. Formulate.co uh, is giving away a free custom formulation, a hair product. So if you want to spin and you're a professional, let us know in the chat and we will uh, put you on that. All right. I have a question. So this is the side sweep. When Bieber burst onto the music scene uh, in this year, he sported a signature side swept hairstyle with his bangs combed over to the side and the layers falling effortlessly. This look quickly became the phenomenon inspired millions of teenagers to copy this style. What year did he first do this haircut? Are you tired of the same old formulation that just doesn't seem to work for your hair and skin? Then go give my friends at Formulate a visit. Go to formulate.co slash Matt Beck. When visiting their website, you're going to fill out a simple quiz to find out everything you need to know about your hair and skin. And it's going to give you the perfect formulation for you. And also the needs of your hair and skin change over time and with the season. So if you have dry skin, dry scalp, thin hair, thick hair, curly hair, wavy hair, the Formulate chemists are here to to help. Go fill out the free quiz, figure out what's going on with your hair, get connected with the Formulate chemist, and you can do all of that by going to formulate.co slash Matt Beck. What year is it now? <laughs> it's 2024. <clears throat> That's tricky. I'm terrible with that. Well, think about his age. Obviously. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> oh. I'm just trying to think about where I was when clients started bringing me that. That's when you know you're old. Is it the closest one wins? <laughs> yeah, yeah we, closest one wins. We're doing yeah. Price is Right rules? Yeah. When do we guess? Now. 2008. I'm going 10. 10. Oh, it's 2009. So <laughs> I didn't go over. Closest without going over. <laughs> Price go. is Right rules. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Congrats. <laughs> I got two. Yeah, yeah, two to one to one. To zero. I, yeah. Carly. I got to be honest. I kind of I, I kind of did that one. I know. Yeah, like that I was... knew you did. Because so Carly last night he's like, "All right, so we were going to take turns um everyone asking a question, but he's like, Carly doesn't have a point yet, so that wouldn't be fair. Like we want to give her a chance to have a point." So I didn't know what this question was, and as soon as you read it, I knew you did it in favor for her. That's how much of a moment. I did too. It's why well, I looked at it. You're such a sweet uncle, you know? <laughs> well, I I'm a millennial. Terrible at trivia. Everyone gets a trophy <laughs> in my uh, yeah. in my world. Uncle Oprah. Uncle Oprah. I never. Uncle Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You so, get a trivia question. Who's spinning the wheel? Um. You know what? I'll pick somebody from uh, the comments of the last show. Okay. And uh, hopefully they're watching the next. Nancy time. says happy birthday, and she said 1998. It maybe Nancy. Nancy, are you a professional? You want to spin the wheel to win a prize? Let us know. She might not be. Nancy. All right. So <laughs> I've got... What is Brian doing? Brian, there's pants. So Denise Jones... All right, Denise. ...commented on the last uh, episode, and she uh, looks like she's a pro. And she got the answer right about the redhead. She had commented it about the anesthesia and stuff. So, oh, okay. Um, so Denise Jones, you're spinning. Didn't she spin last week? Was that her? No, Isn't that right. how you picked? I don't know. That's not how I picked. Okay. <laughs> but maybe that's not her, right? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, my God. The week's running. <laughs> oh, whatever. She's spinning again. Yep. Spin it. Well, double the prizes. Double the fun. All right. Here we go. <laughs> that was a good spin, Brian. Last week was weak. Oh, your pants look nice, Brian. <laughs> Oh, my God. Mevo. That's great. All right. Heck, yeah. So, Denise, you win a ticket to one of Mevo, or Millennium's upcoming events, Mevo's events, uh, to be inspired. Um, they're all over the country. So, uh, get in contact with me, and I will send you the information. Uh, it's Matt at freesaloneducation.com. So, Matt at freesaloneducation.com. Email me. Let me know that you're the winner of the Mevo ticket. And uh, I'll send you all the information, and we'll get you hooked up. Are we going to any of those? There's one in New York in June, I think. 
Um, I think I'm speaking at that one. Oh. So, do you need support? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you can go attend. <laughs> um, uh, all right, cool. So that's it. That's the show. I feel like, you know, we'll edit it. It'll be good. <laughs> so be good. The magic's in the editing. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. We had some fun. Um, all right, cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Um, thank you guys for the birthday stuff, balloons. And hey, all the, thanks for being home. born, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> we wouldn't be here without you. I wanted to At do more. Table, I no, wanted to but. do more, but I know how to run this stuff, and I can be creative on the end of helping you with ideas, but I don't know how to get the ideas onto here. <laughs> Let's say, like, music or <laughs> pictures or videos. So... Happy birthday. Aww. <laughs> I'll, te- I'll teach you that. Aww. I don't really want to learn. I know. <laughs> Only for special days like this. Uh, oh, man. Well, we have other, we have other birthdays to uh, figure yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. And then you can help me. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay. teach you. Yeah. Sweet. Then you got a month. Everyone's birthday is going to oh. look so much better than yours. That's good. <laughs> right. Yours is next, right? Yep. Yeah. April. All right. Thanks, guys. It's time to do hair, <laughs> but we're, we're late. Yeah. All right. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow us on everything. Follow Brian. Hairstyle. Carly. Hair by Carly C. And follow us, everything at Free Salon Education. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.